Hey everybody, I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I have got Psychic uh, Arthur in the house, Arthur, ease your mind, and we have got a very, 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 very special guest tonight on Aloha Shirt Tuesday, or Aloha Tuesday, and it's Sherry Hinkle, yay! Hi! <laughs> I couldn't find my lay, I have a flowered lay somewhere and I can't find it. It's probably <laughs> packed in a box somewhere. <laughs> it's been so long since the three of us talked to each other. I know. Like ages and ages. <laughs> all right. So what's going on since last night, you all? Oh, well, I did get a question. Oh, go ahead. Did somebody uh, sent me. Um, Jamie Johnson. All right. Wanted to know, will Congress finally fund Ukraine? Okay. So let's just go round robin with it. So Sherry, since you asked the question, you get, you get to start. Well, I've been shuffling on it, and I'm getting the King of Pentacles, so that mm -hmm. tells me that, yeah, they're going to get their money. Um, it's just maybe going to take a little bit of some finagling from Presidente Biden um, to whip Congress into shape. <laughs> yeah, well, good I luck think he's that. got several, um, from what I've been reading lately, I think he's got several... Um, surprises tucked up his sleeve that he can yank money from and and send their way so all right uh arthur yeah. is your mind what do you think well i'm not sure about 100 percent about congress per se but the money's going to get to ukraine yeah that's the bottom line the money gets to ukraine because i mean mike johnson just met with trump today or yesterday was it so who knows no he met with trump right mike johnson yes yeah and he trump went to mar-a-lago and trump said i don't want to go to the house floor moses right. mike i'm sorry moses moses mike. mike yeah right i still think biden's i agree i think biden's got something up his sleeve and well, i think I he's think, got several somethings up his sleeve <laughs> he does and i think yeah right and that i scorpion think that, scorpion tail that's going to whip around and sting him i'll get the words out in a minute i'm trying to get this lighting right is that better yeah it looks like a nice sunrise oh i don't yeah, want that I can see. this lighting is crazy i'm trying to there we go i'll just leave it alone yeah i had to wrap a coffee filter around my lamp so that it didn't completely wipe me out that's glary anyway um i see pentacles so i see uh ukraine getting aid I think Johnson is afraid to bring it to the House floor because he's afraid that he might get ousted. But I see some moderate uh, Republicans that are going to say, if you don't bring it, we'll make a motion to have you ousted. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, Trump, I agree. Um, don't worry when I'm president, I got to get Trump's at. I got to get his. I got don't, be, don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> but he's probably saying, don't worry when I'm president, I'll make you this, I'll do that. Yeah, as soon as Trump's done using him, we know what will happen to Preacher Mike, right? Yeah, I'll make you my water boy or coffee boy. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then the next breath will be, I don't know him. I don't think I ever met him. I take pictures with all kinds of people. Well, I just came across something very interesting. What's that? And I think people knew this already, that an FBI confidential source charged for providing false information about President Biden and Hunter Biden, uh, and he said that Russia was involved in it. Over uh, the barista thing, yeah. Yeah that's, yeah. that's the one I talked about yesterday, remember? Okay. That was well, that was Gomer Pyle's main witness. Yeah, he said that he, uh, he told FBI agents in June of 2020 that officials with the Ukrainian Energy Commission or something paid the Bidens $5 million each in 2015 or 16, and it's not true. Mm -hmm. So he was indicted federally, and he's going to come out with more stuff, too, how much you want to bet. Oh, something. oh yeah. And to top it off, uh, there was another big article out today I saw on Midas Touch, and I forget the other uh, news thing that it came out on um, about... Uh, Part of the charges against Hunter, the the, and 
I guess it was part of what they were charging him with for drug addiction. Yeah. Was these pictures that he supposedly emailed to his doctor of lines of cocaine on a table. How would somebody do that? That makes no well, sense. That's not what the picture was of. It was a picture of sawdust <laughs> that a carpenter who was a uh, reformed drug addict had done out lines in sawdust and took a picture and sent it to the doctor and said, this is what I do whenever I start feeling the urge or whatever. To I do it up in the sawdust to remind me that's I'm, that's what I'm doing to my brain. And the doctor sent the picture to Hunter to show him that you're not the only one that battles these demons. And this is how this person was dealing with it. Maybe it'll help you. My bigger question is, how did they get those pictures? Is that through the person who stole the computer? Because if they're showing those pictures and they got them from a stolen computer, then guess what? Um, they, they could be held guilty or liable for i don't know well and i don't know if those pictures would have been on the magical laptop that's never appeared um no one's ever seen the laptop i'm still waiting for them to produce it yeah, but um well they said some of it was from his actually from um cell phone yeah that how yeah get a cell phone how do they get access to it well there's there's illegal ways of doing that and illegal, the appropriate word, and it was illegal. So, but and if they can prove that, then you know. So basically, share what you're saying. There's a lot of this against Hunter Biden's BS, right? Yeah, and the doctors and and the guy that actually took the picture are testifying that I'm the one that took the picture. I'm the one that sent it to the doctor, and the doctor saying, and I'm the one that sent it to Biden, Hunter Biden, to give him encouragement. And it's sawdust, not cocaine. It was sawdust. So I have a that brings up a bunch of questions, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I feel like church. Isn't that special? special. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So will Hunter Biden file file lawsuits? And if so, will he win? I've always felt that. I've always from day one felt lawsuits um against news organizations, against individuals, especially MTG with the uh Revenge porn, yeah, right. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he wins. Sure. What do you think? I pull the King of Wands, which is talking about nothing but success. So whatever it is he decides to do about this, he's going to be very successful about it. I guess the bigger question is then will people be held li uh, criminally liable for doing this? Well, it's liable in slander, so yeah. Well, that's not criminal. That's civil, but because then there were all these false. It's also thievery, stealing. Right. Yeah. If they hacked phones or hacked stuff off of his phone to use as evidence against him, that wasn't, and then twisted what it even was, then. Um... You yeah, remember they did the edit of his, they said this is from his WhatsApp, WhatsApp account and it was all fake. And to who do you all think we can trace that to? Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Does he have orange hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he would have had help because. Well, I hear his, he has a new cologne called Eau de Desperation. I'm sorry, say again. I hear a new cologne called Eau de Desperation. <laughs> Eau de Desperation. Très bien. Oh, well, I pulled the. Um... The page of swords reversed. Ooh, ouch. And so, yeah, that's um, a lot of gossip, a lot of nervous energy, a lot of just um, a lot of yak, 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 and nothing to follow up with it. They don't really, they don't have any evidence on them. Everything, it's, it looks to me like everything they've had has been manufactured. Correct. I'm going to take it a step it's further. What they're trying to do. I'm going to take it a step further and say that there will be some people coming forward to say that they can trace it all the way back up to the orange one and um, just showing that once again. And to his boss in the R country. Right. 
to have inter uh, election interference. So, yeah, correct. Or charges. Uh, it just gets deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Thanks for bringing that up, Sure, That was wow, wow. When you start shoveling crap, <laughs> as I learned in uh, in middle school and high school when I took care of the horses for my granddaddy, granddaddy. Sometimes when you dug the shovel in, it just got deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> there you go. Or is it like the the kid that gets the 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 um the barn full of horse crap and he keeps on he's really happy shoveling. He goes, Well, with all this crap, there must be a horse. <laughs> yeah, I had mornings like that back then. Yeah, right. Gotta be horses in here somewhere. <laughs> so Putin's reign of terror, mm. Navalny's murder, let's say, uh, there was a, a defector. He def he flew his helicopter into Ukraine and he was in Spain. Uh, Maxim Kuzminov, uh, Kuz um, he was found with multiple gunshot wounds and run over by a vehicle in Spain. And... Uh, People are saying that it was a Putin-ordered assassination it was carried out in Europe. Um, in fact, three Russian men, they were in camouflage, uh, identified, uh, they were, I think the men in camouflage were supposedly resident, uh, Russian intelligence, and said they had been given orders to eliminate uh, Kuzhimov. And one said, uh, we have long arms. So... That brings up a question about the safety of Navalny's widow and other people who are even living in Europe who might oppose Putin. I see an end to Putin's reign of terror. And God knows how many people he's had murdered that we haven't even heard about. Right. What do you all think? Well, you did hear about the woman that they detained. She's a Los Angeles resident. Yeah. And she donated $50 to a Ukraine aid or something, and they arrested her. Wow. In Moscow, to being detained. Wow. So, what I'm about... still going out on a limb. I always felt that after April 1st, we're not hearing from him. Yeah, we've got some eclipses. We got an eclipse coming in April, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and some other planetary stuff that's supposed to start shifting things around a lot. Um. Well, I pulled a tin of swords for our Mr. Pooty Katooty. And um, so, I mean, we're looking at a lot of painful endings, dealing with one crisis after another. Um, it, it's, it's, it doesn't look good for him. Um, much like Arthur has said, and I felt the same about both him and the orange man. <laughs> You got to still be breathing to make a difference in a year. You got to be allowed to be a president. Yeah. Um, or a dictator. Right. Well, right. I heard today that hundreds of Ukrainian troops were captured by Russian units uh, when they fled that one city that Russia took over. Uh, and I had this sick feeling in my stomach that I'm thinking that there's genocide going on. Like, I don't know what's going to happen to those troops, but I see a lot of them uh, not Being living. Murdered. Right. Yeah. And that'll that'll come to the surface as well. Um, so it was just, oh, it was just a sick feeling I got. Yeah, I didn't realize there were still troops there that, that, oh, got, yeah. uh, that got taken when all of that went down. You know, the other thing I keep saying is that Putin has plans to attack the Baltic republics, and he kind of alluded to that. I don't know if it was Latvia or Lithuania, and he kind of alluded to that so he could go through Ukraine and use that as a staging ground. And, you know, Ukraine sadly needs troops, sadly needs uh, weapons and all of this. So I guess, and my guides have shown me for a long time what Putin's plans were. Yeah. And I think as we speak, he's trying to, he's thinking about planning an invasion of, it's either Latvia or, or Lithuania. And those are NATO countries. So right. if he does that, not good. What do you all think? I mean, I, I see it thwarted, but 
uh, if he does that, it could very easily start a World War III. What do you he got? may have the plans, but I don't see it being followed through on because he's not going to be around to do it. Okay. What Three of you... swords. I'm sorry? Three of swords. Wow. Yeah, that's... And Queen of Wands reversed, so... It doesn't look like it's going to be a good deal for him good. at all. Good. You know, I still the... feel... I'm sorry, didn't interrupt. But I yeah. still feel Navali's wife is protected yeah and also by the powers that be upstairs or whatever you want to call it i feel she, there's, there's a lot of around. people praying a lot of protection around that woman but did you hear they went after his brother they're the going to go after anybody so that's the no, they, they went after his brother all these people are getting killed and murdered and then you got the marjorie taylor greens and the tucker carlson's who's who laud who you know but um and they say right now that the House is kind of a lot of the Republicans in the House uh, do not want to support Putin. Some MAGAs do, but a lot of them don't. And I think that this could also put more of a, a chasm in the Republican Party. That's what I pick up. Well, I there was a, Taylor Green go on, by the way. Well, there was a question from It's Cool to Be Kind. I love her name. That's a cool. oh, Arthur Mill. Marjorie Taylor Greene went on a rant a few days ago and criticized anyone who publicly criticized Putin. Will wow. there be any backlash against her as a result of these comments? And why exactly does she defend Putin? Is she really that ignorant? What's wrong with this woman? She'll do anything for publicity. How about Marjorie, you going over there and living next to Putin and let's see how far you get. Um. Well, and the thing is, is that these people that are, are so supportive of dictators and dictatorships and all this stuff, they all seem to think that because they're speaking so highly and kindly of this person, um, that they're going to be moved up to the top of the pack in their regime. And they don't realize that most of the people that get the dictator to where he is get off are gotten rid of yeah i mean they're 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 no longer a necessity they're because, usually called loose ends because they're looked at as competition and they don't want them to speak up yeah um wow it's scary isn't it um it you is. know, well, i agree with marjorie taylor green the, her days are numbered in the beginning uh when hitler rose to power mm. people who liked him because the german economy was in horrible inflation, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And people in this country were very, some people were very anti-Semitic, like Charles Lindbergh, and there were a lot of people that were well-known. And they liked Hitler in the beginning, but look at what happened. And Marjorie Taylor Greene better watch what she's saying because, you know, Putin is not a dumb man. He's very bright. Mm -hmm. And he's former KGB. And he's already said that he wanted the countries in the former Soviet Union back. He's also said that any country that joined NATO, I think after 1992, he wouldn't recognize. Right. Why? Because after the Soviet Union broke up, those all became separate countries. And so he's very dangerous to world peace. And so we have to speak up and do something now, you know, before it becomes something like a Hitler. <laughs> Well, basically, wasn't it Biden that said that the reason why that city fell in Ukraine was because of the Republicans? He's blaming them point blank. Yeah. Well, and Biden's going to start to speak up more, my guides tell me. Oh, God, yes. I've been saying the gloves come off. Wait till end of May into June. It's going to get. Right. They're already starting to come off. I mean, he's already. That stinger tail is already whipping around and uh you know, and zapping them here, there, and everywhere. So I hear um, dropping the F bomb a lot. <laughs> yeah, some somebody somebody shared a clip of Biden in a rant or something about something Trump did. And evidently it was fairly um colorful, so we sh shall we say. And I'm like, yeah, well, we knew that back when he was Obama's VP. We <laughs> He'd let the F bomb fly. <laughs> well, and like Trump hasn't, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I at mean, least he's not slinging ketchup against the wall. F bomb, and we don't mean a big fart. 
they would be the type that would, you know, criticize Biden for that. But yet when Trump does it, it would be OK. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We've got some questions here. OK, ultimate yeah. ultimate cat mom. Yay, yay. Um, ultimate cat mom says George Santos sued late night host Jimmy Kimmel for deceiving him into creating cameo videos and then broadcasting them on his show, according to court documents. Uh, she said, I watched the hilarious videos on Jimmy Kim Kimmel. Santos was paid to read statements not knowing it was from Jimmy Kimmel and would be on TV. I hope the lawsuit is dismissed. What do you see as the outcome of the lawsuit? Love your channel and collaborations. So do you guys think that Santos will win the lawsuit? No. What do you think, Sherry? Sorry, the guys are making noise. That's why I was muting. Um, I pulled the magician. I think I think Kimmel's got more uh, more rabbits up in the hat than Santos can even dream of. I don't think he stands a chance because, well, if he did freely, willingly, then and and if I know Kimmel and his people, they didn't. They would have let him know that it was going to be for this, that, or the other. I mean, they've but, been just long enough to know not to out and out lie about something like that. We don't know if Santos is telling the truth about it. How, however, if you're doing something on Cameo for somebody, it could be considered a work for hire. And so the person can do whatever they want with what they're doing with that work for hire. Well, if he signed a release, then they can do with it whatever they want. Mm -hmm. If he didn't sign yeah. it, the court could say, okay, he's entitled to any money it might have earned. But uh, I'm sure there were legal papers that would sign that would protect Jimmy Kimmel. So, oh, yeah, that's what yeah. Kimmel's, uh, Kimmel's uh, legal department would not have let him step out and show or do or say one thing without him being covered up, down, and all around. I mean, Georgie Porgy just wants to get in, in the press. That's all it is. Yeah. He's another Marjorie Taylor Greene. He likes the publicity. But it's not working. I mean, look at what happened to his district, right? The Democrat one. Yeah. And I, I kind of think landslide. I'm sorry, say again, Sherry. Won by a landslide. And I might be wrong, but people are saying that Marjorie Taylor Greene, that, you know, her district is very red. But I don't know. She better be careful because if she's not, it could very easily go blue. Very red doesn't mean they're all stupid. Correct. Exactly. You know, so. Um, and she's also been taking credit for a lot of things that the Democrats are doing and people are realizing it. I'm going to write that down. Very red doesn't imply stupidity. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Spoken by a true Southern woman. There you go. I know a lot of very red bell. people that actually have a brain rolling between their ears you know so uh and they use it <laughs> well what's going on nowadays is what they call conservative is not conservative it's just a bunch of mega bs but um anyway all right silvio munoz at inyes heart munoz says oh she's got tons of questions my yes goodness. i think she wrote an encyclical here mm -hmm. okay um when will people stop blaming President Biden for the war in the Middle East? Well, I don't know if they are, but um, I think what it is is you have a, a very large uh, Muslim base here in the country that are ticked off at Biden because it he hasn't come right out and just flat out blasted Israel for what they're doing like he's going to be able to stop them from doing what they're doing at the drop of a hat. I mean, I think Biden is like a lot of us. We're pro-Israel, but we're also pro-making Palestine a state. But also yeah. uh, we can be pro-Israel and, and anti-Netanyahu. And, right. so, you know, the United States just vetoed that whole UN resolution because they wanted to do it more with negotiating than just this mm -hmm. fire. Right. But, um, I think people are starting to see now that it's not Biden's fault and that um, Netanyahu, no matter who does what, is 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 not going to back down. Right. Uh, 
The other part of it is, is who do you blame? Well, let's blame Mike Johnson for not bringing stuff to the house floor because the whole thing about Israel was in there too and Netanyahu and he wouldn't yeah. bring anything to the house floor. Uh, but the other thing is they're doing a lot of propaganda that if you read between the lines, they're blaming Biden for a lot of this. So it's all propaganda. But it won't work. No, it's going to blow up in their faces as always. Yeah, I, I was actually... Uh, responded to something that somebody had posted on Facebook uh, this morning. They were talking about uh, had enough of Biden, you know, don't vote for Biden, da 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 da. And and, uh, and I just simply put uh, any vote, any vote that you make that's not for Biden and the Democrats is a vote for Trump right. and the crazies. That's right. I don't care what box you check. Sounds like a, a a bot though. It's a lot of those out there. Been, um, you know, somebody had posted it on a friend's or more mm -hmm. of an acquaintance's page. Uh that could be hacked into though. Oh yeah. yeah. And I think that's gonna be exposed. Oh. A lot of those bots that are hacking into people's websites. Yeah. Uh, we know where that's coming from. <laughs> right. The big oh. R country. Right. Well advising the t rump team of what to do okay well, if you listen to what malcolm nance says they have some of the top flight hackers in the world or they did at one time which is what helped them get to where they got in 2016 so but i think we've got a lot more than what we're letting on to oh yeah 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 okay well president biden called for immediate ceasefire i think he already did he's working on it he has several times. And I see Biden's even talking about closing the border. And you know what's going to happen? The Republicans are going to say, oh, you can't do that. And Biden's going to say, well, why not? You guys say it's a crisis. We gave you great, we gave you the House opportunities to pass a bill. And no matter what we did, you wouldn't do it. So therefore, I'm issuing an executive order to close the border. And I think he can do that. I don't think he needs the House approval or Senate approval for that. Well, the fact that both the Senate and Republicans couldn't do it when Trump was president, they expect Biden to do it. Yeah. yeah. Say, say again. I said when Trump was president and he had both the House and the Senate, they couldn't do a damn thing. So why do they expect? And now they're not working to cooperate and do anything. So I, Biden just takes the bull by the horn and does what he has to do. And shuts them up every time. Um, hold on. I agree. Yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, he's he's. I think people tend to forget that Biden spent what was it thirty forty years in the Senate. Oh yeah. On the foreign uh on the the since twenty seven the foreign uh, committee you know foreign aid committee whatever the name of the title of it is, um he knows all of these people and what's going on in other countries like the back of his hand you know and he knows who to pick up the phone and call when there's an issue so i i very strongly have gotten the feeling that he's been making a lot of phone calls and talking to a lot of people saying look you know if if you don't get your crap together and start doing what it is you need to do then they're going to boot me out and you're going to have the other guy to deal with. And how do you think that's going to go? Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. My, I got cold chills when you said that. And mm -hmm. I heard, yes, the huge yes. Okay, this is questions for Arthur, but we're all answering the same question. So since President Biden joined TikTok, his account was flooded with comments about Gaza. There are, they are angry for handling for his handling of the Israel-Hamas war. They yeah. said they won't vote for him because his support for Israel and not Palestinians. Can President Biden turn this around? My feeling is, yes, he can. And you don't know. those That whole thing on TikTok could have been coming from the Trump team, you know, from Russia, flooding that. Flooding, and China. And China flooding TikTok, yeah. that stuff. Yes. And that's going to come out, too. 
people mm -hmm. are going to come forward and say, wait a minute, we have proof that this came from overseas, that this came from bots, that we're doing AI, all that kind of stuff. It'll come out. Oh, yes. So, Very much so. Oh, this is a good one. How will Hunter Biden do tomorrow in the Oversight Committee? <laughs> That's today. I know, but it's today. Well, so what do you think? I haven't, I haven't looked it up, but psychically, well, he'll give them the middle finger, basically, by showing up. Oh, exactly. What do you think, Sherry? I didn't watch it today. I don't know. Mm -mm. I didn't see it. I wasn't even aware of it. So read it Read it off to me one more time. I, I will Hunter it. Biden do tomorrow, but she put this up last night. So okay. it's today. So it was today he was. Oversight committee. Oh, I'm sure he showed up just to just to give him a what for. Now, every time they have any kind of meeting that deals with him, he's sitting in the audience where the Democrats can go, look, he's right there. Just ask him. Well, she also asked if they would have the nerve to show up, not under Biden, but the oversight committee. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them aren't. Because Who ignored their own subpoenas. That are on the committees are now calling out the Republicans who didn't answer any of the subpoenas and stuff when roles were reversed, you know, and they're like, you know, they're not here. They're too scared to, 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 to be in the room for fear that I'm going to call them out again. Is because they I, didn't do the subpoenas. Mar Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm done. I wonder if Marjorie Taylor Green was there. Because the question was, will Marjorie Taylor Green be eager to shut to see Hunter? Don't tell me she's going to show new pics of Hunter. I think probably what happened today is there was so much other stuff in the news they didn't bother to report on this one. Right. And I'm wondering now. I don't know. I don't. I. I. It take me too long to try to go back and find it. But there was actually a headline this morning in one of my news feeds where it was something about one of the committees, the chairman of that committee told her to go sit down and shut up. She didn't know what she was talking about. And that would have been one of her people, not one of the Democrats. So, and when I saw it, I didn't know if it was referring to something happening right now, if it was something in the past, because sometimes some of these stories don't get out for a while. Um, and I didn't, I didn't click on it to read it because I was doing something else. But I remember seeing the headline thinking, oh, wow, somebody told her to sit down and shut up. <laughs> Just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, my tragic girlfriend, MTG. Poor baby. <laughs> I think you're right, Sherry. I think a lot of Republicans have had, it, have had it with MTG. Okay, here we go. Sandy Johnson asks, the SAC Security Exchange Commission approved the merger of Truth Social with multiple investors, which will make the failing company worth $10 billion, enabling Trump to write blank checks. Will this enable him to pay all of his $40 million debts as well as naming a run for president? Well, if he does that, I would think that's embezzlement. Right. So yeah. I still think all that money they infused, I still think it's going to fail. Right. And don't forget that anything that Trump does from now on, there's that judge overseeing everything business-wise. He can't write a check without her knowing about it. Right. And if he starts, so I just doing think that, this is this is fantasy. And if he starts doing that, that's income. Mm -hmm. Let me declare. Yeah. Income. Well, I think these investors are going to watch over their money like white on rice. If they're smart, they will. But I'm sure they got promised a lot of stuff. Oh, if you do this, I'll do that. Well, yeah, but I know investors that invest things that they you know they're they're going to lose because they need the tax write off. Right. Right. That's true. There are those that do that. Um, okay, here's a good one. Hi, Representative Rashida Tlaib, a Democrat from Michigan, is telling her Palestinian district near Detroit to vote against Biden. Well, that's a vote for Trump. That's the article that I was referencing on that's Facebook gonna change. this morning. Yeah. 
How will Biden still win in November with young people, progressives, Hispanics, young blacks, and American Palestinians vote against him? I don't think that many people are going to vote against him because if they see Trump, that's going to scare the crap out of them. And so I have a feeling that between now and Election Day, they're going to start seeing some of the things that Biden has been working on that maybe looks like he's not dealing with this issue or that he's backing up Netanyahu on this issue. I think it's going to start showing up of what he was truly working on. Well, and, don't forget, there can be a lot. There can be a lot that happens between now and November the 4th. I mean, we're only in February. So mm -hmm. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's like nine months away. Yeah. A lot can happen. It's a, a whole baby. Of, a lot of people's well, minds can change. So, Well, somebody's going to get some convictions between now and then. So that's going to change in people's minds. Right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This is a good one, actually. Juliev, um, there was a man, Simon Durante Day, 57, claiming to be the oh, yeah. son of King Charles III and his wife, uh, Camilla. The monarchy has ignored him for years. Now he's requesting a DNA test from Prince Harry to prove he is the eldest son and should be next in line for the throne. Is he just an attention seeker? Is he Charles' son? I'm not going to answer that question, but I can tell you right now, he'll never take the throne. No. They're already starting to gear up for William to take over. That's right. You know, um, in fact, um, it just came to light today. I mean, Harry and Meghan just did like a reboot on all of their stuff. And they're using like the Sussex title on their websites and this and that and the other. And part of the agreement when they walked away from royal duties was they would not be allowed to use their titles for um, financial gain or for business purposes. It was to be used as a personal name title for them. And so they've broken some of those uh, promises that they signed off on. And evidently, King Charles is fairly ticked off about it um, and legally signed over the title of uh, Duke and Duchess of Sussex to Prince Edward's oldest daughter, Lady Louise, and she will be the Duchess of Sussex. And that will be her official title. And then when she gets married, I guess, or whatever, her husband would be the Duke. Um, but it's the title has been legally transferred to another member of the royal family, which from what I read in the article, the king has every right to do. They can flip those titles around to anybody they want to within reason. And, uh, and so, and I know Harry was interviewed the other day and being asked, um, was he considering becoming an American citizen? And he said, well, he was thinking about it. And I thought, well, if you become an American citizen- And you can't hold a title, it's illegal. You definitely will lose your titles and any claim you have left to the throne. So I, his children I, would lose their prince and princess titles. So they said they didn't want anything else to do with, with it, so I don't know why they want to hang on to that stuff if they left and said they don't want nothing to do with it. So, Yeah, but over time, people have a, a tendency to change their minds and stuff. Yeah. But also, I mean, I've been reading from day one ever since I heard about the uh, cancer diagnosis that Charles was going to abdicate and that he was going to help William when he becomes president, I always feel there's a coronation at the end of summer. Yeah. I don't yeah. think, I don't that's, think the king, that's a vision I had. I don't think the king's going to be around long. So again? I don't think the king's going to be around long. In fact, no, this no. cancer is very serious because if it wasn't, I've never gotten on an airplane and went there. Mm -hmm. It's sad too, because he's waited 70 some odd years to finally get to the throne. And now it's, you know, and, I mean, and also, I'm not a big monarchist. I don't really care if that's how they want to run their country. That's their business. 
but um yeah when he when it was put out that he was had cancer that's when i had one of my first visions and it was of william being crowned and so but also i take a grain of salt with some of the reporting i mean i've worked with fleet streeters they stretch the truth oh i'm sure, sure. you know i don't know they, i you know i don't think i don't think this guy is ever going to be king this simon durante and no. i think that um you know, the next king is going to be uh, William. So correct. Yeah, and I think he's going to be on the throne for a long time. Yeah, um, I also see a reconciliation yes, with I'm, his brother in I'm time. Sorry. Say again. I also see he and Harry having a reconciliation in time. Okay. Yeah, it'll take a while. Um, it'll take a while, Harry. Okay. Next question. Um, uh, Bernice Henson says hi everybody will trump ever slip up anytime soon and say e Jean carroll's name while he is speaking in a camp campaign rally like he almost did over this past weekend he's gonna open his mouth again guess what he will i don't know if it takes a psychic to figure that one out but psychically yes he will and guess what e Jean carroll's gonna slap him with another lawsuit yeah. and no else is gonna start slapping him with lawsuits he was told not to disparage those judges and not to disparage the judge's helper and all that stuff. And he's going to keep doing that. And he's going to get held with a contempt charge or something. I'm telling you, right? Because this case isn't over because he appealed it. So right. technically he has to still stick with a gag order because the case isn't over yet. And the problem is he can't keep his mouth shut. I'm sorry. Well, do you remember the whole week uh, when they were doing the final trial with E. Jean Carroll and he was going out bad mouthing her. Yes. She can sue him for that because that was not part of what she was suing for the second time around. So there's plenty for the third time around. Okay. And I feel there will be a third time around. But I still think he's going to open his mouth again. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. He can't keep his mouth shut. There you go. He's got diarrhea of the mouth worse than I do. I mean, you know, <laughs> you don't have and I can talk till the cows come home, but I it's, <laughs> I could go on and on. He's down silent. <laughs> okay. This is a good one. Mary Sloan says, uh, hello, in the past couple of different, in the past, some, oh, anyway, different readers saw a woman when reading on Putin as being part of his demise, not necessarily his death. And I could wonder if this could be Alex Navalny's widow. Thank you for consideration of this question. The answer is yes. She's going to be very instrumental in helping to bring Putin down Ooh. also don't forget there's a female newscaster yes that he arrested and she's in, in jail right now and so, his his uh his uh his opponent for the next election over there he had her arrested for some that's what i'm talking about right no, it, it was the i didn't realize she was a news a news person I just knew it was somebody that was running against him. Well, hundreds were arrested for paying tribute to Navalny. What was it? I think last night, I think, Sherry, you were saying that somebody, a girl, just put a rose yeah, down. Yeah, a girl, girl that she made arrested. flowers on a, on a memorial and they arrested her on the spot, hauled her off to jail. What? Yeah. A um, teenager, you know, I mean. So this brings up a good question. The female newscaster, the person who was running against him that he had arrested, do you think that any harm will come to her? No. I got to know from my guides. I'm not <laughs> feeling anything as far as her being injured. I don't know. I got a funny feeling something might happen. I just hope he doesn't do anything to Mabalini's widow, but if he does... I mean, the world is incensed about Navalny's death. Well, and, that, and she oh, just got blocked from Twitter or X or whatever the hell they call it now. Um, Elon Musk pulled her account. Right. And that's going to make who? He pulled whose account? Navalny's Navalny widow. widow. Why? She's on Twitter because she's talking against Putin and she's talking about her husband and she's going to carry on the fight and blah, 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 blah. Elon Musk pulled her account. I wonder how it got to him. Well, 
you know, and he's the first he, one who said that Trump shouldn't be taken off of Twitter when it was Twitter, but yet he's pulling people's accounts. Correct. Mm. Yeah. See the hypocrisy of that? Oh, I see him catching his Waterloo too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, so, okay, so they took him off of X or whatever it was. Yeah. I don't see X mm. making it at all. That's going to go down the tubes. Yeah. But, no, you know, it's already lost so much in profit, it's not even value. I mean, it's lost. It's being used as a propaganda machine, though. Yeah. But it's not going to work. No. The other thing is, is that uh, my feeling is that she might even start her own social media platform or have people behind her that would start a social media platform, all dedicated to telling the truth about Putin. <laughs> In time. That's what I see coming. I think it'll happen a lot sooner than later. As Mel would say, my light bulb just went off. It did. Um, with Elon Musk, something coming up around the end of November into December. I think he's going to be in hot water with what he did with pulling the satellites from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Well, I see more being put up there. That. I see more being that, that, My light bulb went off. It's like, oh, yeah. I see more satellites. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, and Musk won't be able to pull the plug on them. That's for sure. Right. And not. And not the uh, the ones the Russians apparently put up with the nuclear power. No, yeah. but I think the United States will give Ukraine some satellites to put up there. Oh, yeah. So and and nobody can pull the plug on those. So correct. Okay. Um, Deborah God, I think is Godlewski or Godlewski. Will anything happen to all involved in the murder of next Benedict and us in Owasso High School bathroom? over her it wasn't sexual preference i think that she was transgendered yes and she was murdered and so deborah says hate crime i would think it's absolutely a hate crime and she i see because I, go ahead went in the wrong bathroom or i just i just read that she was murdered um or they you say they i don't think you say he or she when it comes to transgender people that they, meaning one person, was murdered due to the fact that they were transgendered. And my feeling is that justice will be done. Um, yes. You know, it's gotcha. funny. Let's, let's see what the right to lifers say. Well, you know, it's transgendered. Oh, but a life is a life. So, yeah. 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 What'd you pull, Sherry? Judgment. Ooh. Good. Uh, give me one second. Uh, can you all hear that? I don't think you can. Yeah, I did. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> was that Siri talking to us? Or Alexa or whatever the hell her name is? Fails. When I'm doing a show, somebody calls me. All right. I do like Patsy Klein. That's I had a friend that had a ringtone that they put on their phone that when somebody would call, it would be, answer the damn phone. <laughs> First time I heard it, I nearly choked to death. I laughed so hard. Like, okay, this one is getting it right, it's called. It appears Julian Assange is losing mm -hmm. his fight against extradition. Yes. You think he'll be offering any intel in exchange for leniency? Uh, I see him being extradited. And I think he'll come forward with stuff. But I just wonder how true it'll be. But he'll come forward with a lot of things about the 2016 election, too. Yeah. I I, I strongly... Um, he's going to come forward with a lot of stuff, but I think that there's so much doubt on what he says that they're going to be very hesitant to offer him any kind of deals because they're not going to... Unless it's something that they can... Prove is true before a decision is made. You know, it's. However, at the same time, I keep on feeling he may offer stuff, but they already know about it. Yeah. So they're not interested. All right. That's uh -oh. why it's always best to be the first one that turns. <laughs> you get the best deal. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Chris Piazza says, Looking forward to Aloha Tuesday. Thank you. Mm. My question concerns Putin. 
was the timing of Navalny's murder due to Putin's desperation? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at the recent meeting of NATO, members in Munich uh, said there was a discussion over perceived threats that Russia, that Russia may try to invade one of the smaller Balkans. So that would be Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Mm -hmm. um, also, this ongoing satellite threat and con continued threat to the nuclear power plant in Ukraine. Could you folks take a look at this? What will Putin do? How far will he go? We talked about that. Will he invade yeah. the Baltic republics? And I don't think so. What about the Balkans? I don't think so. Um, and also, will Yulia uh, Navalnaya remain safe? I think in Russian or Ukrainian, Navalny is the names, but if you're female, you put an A on the end of it. Just right. Male, male is with, it's like, in Polish, it's like Zelensky and his wife is Zelenska. Navalnaya, I think. Yeah. But will she remain safe? I see, yes. yes. And it says, thanks, thanks so much and hugs and kisses from Brooklyn. So, mm -hmm. hugs from Brooklyn. She's got protection all around, not just physical, but spiritual as well. There are people that are praying beams of energetic protection around her. The same with uh, uh, with Zelensky's family over in Ukraine. You know, um, I know his wife and kids aren't there. He's he shipped them off somewhere so they would be out of reach, and they couldn't get to him because he knew that would be the one way they could get to him faster. Or anything else is if they grabbed his family. Um, and here's what Putin is forgetting that at some point these kids that you know that he's sent away from their parents and things like that and even Navalny's children they'll grow up and who are they going to be anti what anti Putin and if not careful anti some of the politicians here <laughs> oh yeah we've, we've got a whole slew of kids that are going to be voting for the first time and they're going to vote for Biden. Like, you know, most of them are known as Swifties. And believe oh. me, <laughs> she's got them registering left, right, up, down, driving the the Republicans crazy. Taylor Swift is going to be like, like quite on rise. I think once the Republicans awesome. start saying that stuff about her, that just put fuel on her fire. Now she's rep. Oh, yeah. The only thing I keep on picking up is... I do understand where they're very upset and concerned about the nuclear plant in Ukraine because it's the largest one in Europe. And, you know, the fact that the Russians came in, they took it over and they all the employees were taken over by the Russians. I, and they're always afraid that this could be the next, you know, Fukushima if it's not handled properly. But I don't see I don't see it happening like that. I don't see that. It's protected. I think I think Putin would use it as a breeder reactor to get Ukraine uh, get get plutonium for his bombs. But well, well okay. I, was, I also feel ETs are protecting it. To, that's my own opinion. Well, I don't get into the ET thing, but um, I still think that you know it's a it's clearly a worry. Oh yeah. Um, but I I don't see a nuclear explosion there. I don't see that happening as a site. At some point, Ukraine taking that power plant back. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, I got to pronounce the name. Camino Island Annie says, my daughter feels an earthquake coming in Long Beach, California and in San Bernardino. What do you, what do your spirit teams say? Well, I see earthquakes in Southern California, but, you know, I don't see them as being humongous on the Richter scale. So mm. needs to wait until after April. I'm sorry, say again. Needs to wait until after April. <laughs> I'm gonna be flying out to the West Coast in the March, mid-April, somewhere in that time frame. Yeah. It's like can't have any earthquakes until I'm out there and I'm gone. I don't want to go through that. <laughs> well, yeah, never I been an earthquake. I'm not ready to experience one. So <laughs> I do see a lot of landslides for the dims, but <laughs> thank and you. Earthquakes for a lot of the magas will get swallowed up. <laughs> Those I can deal with. Right. What I tell everybody is, look, I've got an earthquake kit here ready to go. If I hear I have to get out of town. And I haven't heard that yet. 
But if there's an earthquake and they don't tell me, I guess my Manny Mo and Jack don't like me anymore. So who knows? But <laughs> my guides. Here's another question that we touched on. It was uh, Donna D. Hi, will the girls that beat next Benedict in Oklahoma be charged for murder? Next was a beautiful trans non-binary. So non-binary means that they don't equate with male or female. They right. both beaten up because of who she was. So I do see them charged with murder. Absolutely. Yes. And they kill this. They kill this. They beat this her person. to death, I think. Or beat. Um, they beat the person. Um, the, the person to death. Yeah. Okay. And you know where they learn that from. Of course. Um, it's just sad. Um, well, it's like the song in, in South Pacific. You learn you learn hate. That's true. Yeah. We're not born hating, that's for sure. No. Barbara Davis asks, will Biden win more votes than the last time he had 10 million over Trump? The answer is yes. 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 10 more million. All righty. So that's pretty much all I've got here. Let me just see if there's any more, but I think, have we asked them all? Let me check and see here. Oh, darn it. I got to figure out how to get back. Give me one second. Oh, here we go. Somebody called me and it's hard for me to get to, okay, we got 13 over here. I'm talking to myself. That's okay. I answer too. I talk to myself all the time. Yeah. I can have a complete conversation and nobody's in the room but me. Oh, I just tell everybody I'm talking to Harvey, this big pink ele this big pink ele um bunny rabbit, rabbit next to me. Yeah, the rabbit. Harvey yeah. was correct. We got room for a, a, just a few more. Okay. 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 So uh I can't uh Vera, Rebe Vera, I can't pronounce it. Will Trump ever be jail? I see him convicted, but I've never seen him in jail. Maybe a house arrest, but I've never seen him in jail. The worst jail he's ever going to get is when they take all his money away and he can't get any more. <laughs> no, that's called hell. Same difference. As we oh. say. <laughs> all right. Um. Oh, this is a good Everybody's one. He's freaking out now. I mean, you know. Um, uh, Goody Cat Mom. I love that name. Um, I am sure this has happened to others post-pandemic. Oh, yes. But will we ever go back to how we get services on a timely basis from doctors' offices, restaurants, a more robust workforce? It seems like the new normal may continue. It's often frustrating to see restaurants closed due to the lack of staff and doctor's offices who don't call back and even answer their phones, for example. Well, a lot of doctor's offices didn't call back before the pandemic. Um, I think the new normal is doing more virtual visits, yes, medical visits, things like that. Um, so I see things becoming more timely, you know, um, is someone who's had COVID for the last two weeks. <laughs> right. You know, um, I wouldn't want anybody to come into my house anyway. And I'm sure as I'm not going to anybody else. The only place I've been in two weeks was I went to the drugstore yesterday to get several prescriptions that I needed that were finally ready. And I went in with, of course, it was cold. So I had my coat and I had my muffler wrapped around my face. I had a mask. I was like, okay, I'm loaded for bear. Stop. Um. <laughs> Somebody's asking a uh, journey to positivity of Trump's GoFundMe pages will be taken down. I think they already have been, if I'm not mistaken. If they haven't been, they will be. Right. Oh, this is a good question. Uh, Jorm says, who is actually funding these Trump GoFundMe accounts? Good question. Do I pay for my prescriptions or do I pay for my dinner or do I pay for Trump? I'd rather pay for my prescriptions and my dinner. Thank you. Yes. But that's <laughs> what I'm getting, unfortunately. Good, I like that. Um, okay, we, we've got time for just a few more. Will the Ukraine war soon be over? No. It's going to go on for a while. Well, I'm going to say what I did last night and I've been saying for quite some time. 
within two years, 18 months to two years, Ukraine will be part of NATO. Good. You know, it's funny when um, that war first started, people say, oh, it'll be over in a month, a week mm -hmm. or two. I said, no, this is going to be. And everybody was saying it'll be over by whenever it's been going on for two years, I think. But it'll be over by March of that year. And then they just another month. I said, nope. Mm -mm. When it originally came down, I kept on getting number three. And I'm like, I don't think it's three months. So well, it's the three and a half years, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. I think we touched on this one. This is the last question. Uh, good day, my friends. Is Trump's GoFundMe account tax deductible Tax deductible, since he is using it for his legal fees? I don't know how legal that is. So I don't think so. I think that's... So either. I claim that. I mean, are you talking about like when you give money for GoFundMe to, like, to give to a candidate? That's tax deductible. But giving somebody money so they can get out of it pay for the wear that's yeah. something different yeah right all right so that's all we have everybody thank you um thank you. so sherry thanks for being this our was fun. thanks we, for we inviting me again so sherry if they want to contact you how do they do it sherry.hinkle at gmail.com is there a phone number they can call or no um i do not have a phone number set up for the public yet but i'm working on that okay so the next question is it h-i-n-k-e-l or k-l-e e-l got it okay so that's sherry s-h-a-r-i okay. dot h-i-n-k-e-l at gmail.com okay and mr so arthur my about page on youtube and it's got all that listed so and go to voices from the swamp okay Thanks. Voices I, from the Swamp. I just went over 1,800. I, I looked this morning. I finally broke down and looked. So I'm I'm less than 200 away from 2,000. That's my next goal. I don't so. even know what I mean. I don't even check. I don't know. Oh, but Voices from the Swamp, give thumbs up, like. Oh, and by the way, Arthur, um, I think somebody signed up for the Africa trip today. I'm going to call her after the show tonight. So I will tell her that she wins a free half hour session from you if she books a trip. Or if she heard that, if you're not signing up because you want, you're not, you don't want a reading from me. <laughs> All right. So, Arthur, if they want a reading from you, what do they do? www. Arthur a r t h u r your y o u r mind m i n d dot com. Did you change Arthur, that? No, it's Arthur ease your mind dot com. Oh, you didn't say ease. You just said oh, Arthur. Ooh. Arthur, A-R-T-H-U-R, ease, E-A-S-E, Y-O-U-R, mind, M-I-N-D. Yeah, half time it's Arthur, lose your mind. But dot it's com, right? Dot com. Okay. And your YouTube channel is? It's Arthur, ease your mind. Yay. Go over there, subscribe, thumbs up. Is there a phone number where they can call you? Sure, it's 310 494 5955. All righty. I also just started a membership. Arthur's already posted week. at me and said I have to get a landing page or something to put all that information. Oh, we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> so I'm working on that um, stuff. Everybody, <laughs> how about you, Mal? How do we get a hold of you? Hold on. Everybody go to Sherry and get a reading. She's phenomenal. Arthur is phenomenal. You want to get a hold of me? Call Arthur. No. <laughs> Call Sherry. Oh, well, Sherry. <laughs> you want to hear you want, I couldn't pass Oh, it. I texted Colleen this morning and said, Mel said he really loves your polygerology. He wants to come back. <laughs> I got a text from her. She said, a little birdie told me. I didn't hear <laughs> I thought that little birdie's name must be Sherry. <laughs> That's how we got that little plug in there. I'll okay. change my phone number so when they call it, if you like a reading from Arthur, Press one. If you want a reading from Sherry, press two. If you want a Sherry from Arthur, I mean from Mel, press three. Or if you're OCD, press four numerous times. <laughs> like I am. Okay. You want to get a hold of me? Call my office, 847 590 5411. Again, 847 847 590 5411. Or you can um, go on my website www 
dot Meldor, M-E-L-D-O-E-R-R dot com. You don't even have to put the www in there, just Meldor, M-E-L-D-O-E-R-R dot com. So this has been so, so, so much fun. We got to do this again. Yes. All right. So Anytime. next, just next give me a Tuesday, I'm on uh, Arthur's channel. So Sherry, what do you got coming up this week or next week? Or uh, what do you got? Um, this week, well, tomorrow night is Sisters of the Mystical Tarot. Um, that's five of us ladies that get together and uh, we have a topic we'll discuss and then we'll uh, answer a few questions that were posted in the comment section um, on our community pages. Thursday night is Golden Girls. Um, that's me, Marina, Val, and Cleo. Um, and that's political shenanigans as we talk. And um, Friday is polyterology. Saturday, um, we're supposed to have Carolyn and Peter Booker come on. They do, uh, they like ghost hunt. Ooh, and, um, so I love that kind of stuff. Me too. And um, Sunday is... Is it this Sunday? This Sunday is Mastering Mental Wellness. Um, Isaac B., who's a professional counselor and a friend of mine, we um, started a new show. So every show will be a different topic and how to deal with that issue like anxiety or stress or depression, that kind of thing. And then offer some things you can do to kind of help alleviate it. And if you need more help than what we're legally allowed to give online, we also give you some contact points of where to find more professional assistance. And um, so that's something that's been on my my heart for a while to do. And, um, and then we're doing a meditation thing for Ukraine Sunday. Ooh, good. I think that'll help. Okay, something Art. else on Sunday, and I can't remember for the life of me now what 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 it is. So I don't know. I've got something almost every day. Me too. And I don't know. I what it go is. all day tomorrow without running a fever, then I can go back to work on Thursday. <laughs> oh, good. I see you back to work on Friday. Okay, that works. Friday's a half day. <laughs> Arthur, what's coming up for you? Arthur, what do you got coming up? Uh, tomorrow I'm on with Val, Dragonfly Crystals. And Friday, I'm on with Sherry with Polytero. Polytero, over on the Polytero, Polytero, whatever it's called. Yeah. And then Sunday is the uh, with Colleen, the uh, meditation for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I suggest everybody go there and yeah. send on as much love and light as possible. There'll be a whole bunch of us. We'll, we'll all be simulcasting with that. So. And then Monday is, um, I believe I'm with uh um marina and yeah Allie. And no, you and i'll be doing uh during you two will be doing the um swamp thing yeah and then next tuesday is back to aloha tuesday on my channel um i don't even know i've got my book and i didn't bring my book but uh tomorrow night with kim copeland mm -hmm. thursday night with kevin chandler mm -hmm. um something on friday i don't know but that's good. That's, you know, for me, I don't know. Then the next week full. And so I'll just talk about it at some other time. Because... Well, Monday, it'll be just you and me for, for draining the swamp. Uh, yeah. That's Arthur's right. had a prior commitment. And I don't know, I might drag somebody else in to join us. So um, why don't you ask Gerald? Yeah, that's, I will. I think he does something on Monday night, but I'll email him in just, uh, just in case. And, uh, and the other thing within the next two weeks, I'm hoping to have my next guided meditation up called S Slim and Shine. I could use that. Okay, so Monday's Mel, I'm Sherry, and lately. <laughs> so Monday's Mel, Sherry, and whoever. Arthur's got a new meditation coming out, so we're all busy. Good. I mean, mm. all my stuff's written in my book. I finally decided to get a book. Only problem is sometimes I forget to write it in there. <laughs> oh, I. I say I have CRS. Can't remember. I know. Anyway. I know. All right. So this has been so much fun. We got to okay. do this again. And um, okay. Anytime. 
So everybody stay safe. I love the cat. You're, you're particular. Everybody stay safe, stay well, and love you guys. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Bye, everybody. Bye. Aloha. Aloha.